Hey everybody, it's been a while since we published our first What's Next in Raid video, and pretty much everything we covered in that video is live in-game right now, which means it's time for another video, and time for some more sweet, sweet reveals. This year, we want to release more of these What's Next videos so we can give you guys more regular insight into what's going on behind the scenes. We won't spend too much time discussing in-depth mechanics here, we'll cover those in the update highlights videos. Instead, we'll try to showcase as much of the meaty fun stuff as possible. Let's get into it. First up, one of our biggest priorities this year, clans. We know for a lot of you guys, your clan is the most important part of Raid, and seeing all the tight-knit communities you guys have formed is one of our personal favorite things. And because of that, we want to put some focus on clans to give you guys more things to do together, and more challenges for you and your clanmates to overcome. This means we're going to be working on more clan-specific content as well as some general improvements like making it easier to find a clan that suits your personal needs, along with a bunch of quality of life improvements. We'll reveal more about the major clan features when we've got a bit more to show, but for now, we wanted to talk about what's coming up in the very near future. Clan versus Clan Tournaments You know how tournaments go. You do in-game activities, you earn points, you win things. That's pretty much the same thing in clan v clan tournaments, but scaled up. This means much bigger prizes and a much bigger list of objectives to complete, so you can work together with your clan, play to each member's strengths, and win as much as possible. But here's the big difference. It's a tournament against another clan. It's two clans competing against each other to see who can get their hands on the biggest prizes, as well as the bragging rights. With clans being such an important part of the game, this is one of our first steps to building a little friendly competition and taking clan rankings beyond a simple global leaderboard. It's important for us to get the matchmaking system right for this. So for the first inaugural CVC tournament, clan matchups, meaning which clan fights which, will be based on each clan's positions in the global rankings. That way you won't run into a top 10 powerhouse clan if it's your second week in raid. After that first tournament, matchups will be decided based on how well each clan has performed in previous CVC tournaments. Now, this isn't the only clan versus clan thing we're working on. We also want to bring inter-clan PvP battles to raid. We don't know what form that's going to take or how it's going to look, but we're looking into a few concepts, so don't worry. We haven't dumped full clan member versus clan member battles in favor of tournaments. We want both. For now, let's move on to the reason you want to play clan versus tournaments in the first place. Rewards. There's a lot to win here. First, you get rewards for reaching certain point milestones during the tournament. Earn enough points, and everyone in the clan gets whatever reward is assigned to that milestone. Simple. Speaking of points, this is where things get interesting. As you might expect, the clan that earns the most points wins the tournament. But the difference in points will also affect the outcome. See this progress bar over here? It will go back and forth as the clans compete, and the more points you beat the other clan by, the better your rewards. Of course, you winning also means the other clan loses, meaning no extra rewards for them, so don't expect it to be easy. And if all that's not enough, the winning clan will get a permanent CVC trophy on their clan info page forever. The more wins you get, the more trophies your clan gets, and the more objectively awesome it is. There are also some very special rewards on offer from Clan v Clan tournaments in the form of two new types of accessories. First, Blood Shield. Blood Shield accessories will give your champion a shield equal to 5% of the damage they deal after they attack, giving your squishy damage dealers a big boost in the survival department. And like always, you can equip up to three of them for an even bigger shield. Now, they won't give you a shield based on poison damage or from masteries that deal damage based on the enemy's max HP, because that would be super broken. But Blood Shield accessories are still very strong. Second, Reaction Accessories. They give the wearer a 25% chance of changing any incoming critical hits into normal hits when they get attacked before their first turn in every round. This makes them a great fit for slower champions who are in danger of being nuked out of the game before they get their turn. Three Reaction Accessories means 75% chance critical hits will feel like a tiny scratch, making them perfect to counter those speedy nukers. Teamwork makes the dream work, and it'll also pave the way to some awesome goodies, so get your clan ready. For now, let's move on to the next thing on the agenda, champions. There's no lack of awesome new champions in Raid Shadow Legends, but what about a whole new faction? Meet the Shadowkin. These mysterious warriors from the east are due to make landfall in Teleria soon, and no one knows what goals they pursue this far from home. Neither light nor darkness hold sway over them. Only strength and honor can win their loyalty. 
As you can see, the shadow kin are heavily inspired by the mythos of medieval Japan, along with a load more Eastern Asian influences, and our artists had a blast adjusting them all to fit into the Raid universe. You can expect nimble ninjas, sharp samurai, ominous oni, and a whole host of mythical badasses. The entire faction is going to be attacker heavy and should provide some great new options and cool synergies to take on all challenges Teleria has to offer. We'll be adding champions to this faction over time, kind of like we did with the dwarves, so expect several batches of Shadowkin to arrive over multiple updates. And of course, we'll open up a Faction Wars crypt for Shadowkin when there's enough of them in game. On top of these new additions, we're also working on a few more quality of life features to make your raid experience a little easier and give you a little more control. They're not features like a big new dungeon you can play through, but we think you're gonna like them. First, we're planning to introduce champion tags, which will give you the ability to mark champions in your collection. This is going to be incredibly useful if you have multiple instances of the same champion built for different game modes or roles, or just with different artifact quality. You'll be able to know which is which just by looking at the profile picture, and it's going to make team selection much faster. Another one we're working on, which is my personal favorite, is an AI override system. This will let you predetermine the behavior of your champions when you set a battle on auto, which is going to make it much easier to auto some of those tougher levels or to set up more complex team compositions that will work right every time. Basically, you'll get to choose which moves your champions use and when. Finally, right? Beyond all the brand new things, we're also going to build on Raid's existing content. For example, the Doom Tower is going to get two new bosses, each requiring a unique strategy to take down. They'll add more variety and a bigger challenge to Raid's deadliest game mode, and we think it's going to make the tower even more interesting and fun to figure out. We're also going to add more dungeon levels, which will be both harder to beat and provide better rewards, which will give Raid veterans something to test their best teams against. We're also working on another set of missions. Getting the Arbiter is a big milestone in your Raid journey. It's no easy feat, but we know a lot of you have already got there, so we want to give you something new to do. These missions will incorporate new things such as the Tag Team Arena, the Doom Tower, and so on. Completing them will let you get your hands on a unique legendary champion, and you can never have enough of those. Along with all of this, we're still going to be adding more champions to the summoning pool, and you're looking at some concept art for them right now. And don't worry, we're not forgetting about the old guard. A lot of our existing champions will be tweaked and rebalanced in due course. That's always one of our priorities. We also want to expand upon Champion Ascension. We don't want to just add more levels of Ascension with the same old resources here. We want to make it a fun challenge and give you a real reason to do it beyond a simple stats boost. We're not ready to show our hand here just yet, but we'll turn one card over. Here's a couple of teasers connected to the feature to tickle your imagination. Any guesses what this tower thing will become when we do the big reveal? Leave them in the comments below. And that concludes our What's Next in Raid video. These are just the things we felt ready to share with you guys, but we've also got a lot of other exciting things in the works too. If you like this video and want to see more of these, hit like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to make sure you always see these videos first. Happy raiding!